four. This is Justin Branham for MasterFiddle.com, and in this lesson, we're going to work on building a bluegrass break from scratch, and this is going to be in the key of A over the classic uh, traditional bluegrass tune, Roll in My Sweet Baby's Arms. That's been covered by a bunch of great artists like Flat and Scruggs and the Monroe Brothers, and more recently, Ricky Skaggs. Very standard tune with a good standard chord progression, and what we're going to do is go in steps and we're going to gradually add one thing at a time that makes our basic melody which is what we'll learn first into a full-on classic bluegrass fiddle break so when we learn the basic melody that's going to be something that would be suitable for a beginner and as we add things uh, we're going to add slides next and that's also not going to be too hard so a beginner could do that after slides we're going to do some ornamentation again very simple once we get to that point, we're going to start adding some double stops, and that's where it's going to get a little more difficult. So you beginners might have to jump ship there, but you can always come back to that point when you feel like your chops are ready for it. And for you advanced players, those double stops will be a good introduction to double stops and how we use them stylistically with bluegrass if you're not familiar with the style. And anybody who is getting into bluegrass, being able to build a break with a basic melody is a really essential skill and one of the things that really sets bluegrass apart from just fiddle tune playing and old time or contest styles maybe, or if you come from more of a classical background and haven't started doing this kind of thing yet, or if you come maybe even from more of an improvisational jazz or western swing background and you're trying to figure out what the difference is between bluegrass and styles that have more improvisation. So bluegrass has an element of improvisation and we'll talk about that with the very last break where we'll add in some hot licks in place of the melody. But... The really important thing with bluegrass is that you can play the melody but make it interesting and state it in a stylistically correct way. So that's really what we're going to work on here is how to take a really simple melody and turn it into what you would hear in a bluegrass band and what you would be expected to do as a bluegrass fiddle player. So very important, very foundational skill and we'll spend a lot of time doing this with different uh, songs. Uh, melodies from songs and tunes that are uh, standard to the bluegrass repertoire. So. If you are watching this on YouTube, at this point, you'll need to go over to masterfiddle.com and sign up. You can sign up for a month or a year. There's different subscription times and I'll have different discounts. But as soon as you do that, you can get access to all of the videos on the site, including the videos for this lesson. And you'll see each video for each section that I teach uh, in the video player, which uh, is what you're looking at right now. If you're on Master Fiddle and we'll go on over to the next video lesson where we'll work on the basic melody. So I'll see you there.